Hey everyone, and welcome back to this week of MOPA in Focus. I'm going to go ahead and give everyone a couple minutes to join in and tune in from wherever you might be joining us today. Uh, and in the meantime, make sure you head on over to mopa.org to check out all the latest information about the museum. You can check out really cool resources on photography, see some amazing online exhibitions, and also get all the latest news and current information about the museum. Uh, and for today's program, really the spirit of MOPA in Focus uh, is to take a look at works by artists who are currently on view at the museum uh, and look at the big idea that they're exploring and then take a look back into the collection in the museum. The museum has a collection of over 9,000 photographs uh, and it's this wonderful opportunity for us to explore some really big ideas in photography and see these beautiful connections between artists. Sometimes they're artists that are contemporary, uh, so living and working at the same time. Uh, and other times though, they're artists that uh, have connections but across time, right? Uh, they're exploring similar ideas, similar processes, um, and I think it's a really wonderful thing for all of you to get to join us on this Friday morning uh, and take a deep dive into the collection, but also learn a little bit more about the shows that are currently on view at the museum since we all can't be there right now physically. And that's why it's a pleasure to be able to bring it to you all wherever you might be joining us. So for today, we're going to be inspired by one of the current exhibitions at the museum. Uh, and the exhibition is Out of the Shadows, Contemporary Chinese Photography. It's a show that has a collection of nine different artists who are contemporary Chinese photographers who are creating work that are all very different. Um, and again, offer this really unique opportunity for us to look at the collection and see, well, how have other artists explored those ideas? Um, how did they maybe pave the way in the early, uh, before those artists? Um, or what are sort of the similarities, right? The overlap in some of these, uh, some of these works. Uh, so the artists that we're gonna be taking a look at is actually an artist named Xiao Wen Wan. Uh, and for today's sort of big idea uh, that uh, Xiao inspired us uh, to take a look at is mixed media. Uh, and mixed media um, is basically just a way of saying um, using photography, uh, but also other mediums, right? Um, so that could be painting, it could be drawing. Um, artists have explored lots of different ways of incorporating photography uh, into a wider project, right? Wider bodies of work. Um, and sometimes it starts with a photograph and then they build on top of it. Um, other times they use other kinds of medium and then use photography to document it, right? Um, uh, uh, to create an image that sort of brings everything together in a way that they were they were picturing. Uh, and so Xiao Wen Wan uh, is a contemporary Chinese artist, again, um, who really um, it, it fits the spirit of mixed media um, and, um, I think explores it in a way that um, creates these images that uh, invite all of us to contemplate uh, photography um, in, in, in a much more sort of beautiful and lyrical way. Uh, and we'll get at a little bit more about what the artist was thinking um, and, and why he created these kinds of works. And I'll show a couple more examples as well. Um, but before we get into that, we're going to take a look at, again, the collection of the museum. Uh, because again, MOPA has been collecting images since 1983. Uh, we're coming up on 40 years. And, and of course, that's a long time to be collecting images and, and again, we have over 9,000 of them to be able to share. Um, and so we're going to take a look at two artists that will sort of bring us up to the work of Xiao. Uh, and those artists are Holly Roberts and uh, Robert Park Harrison. Uh, and Robert Park Harrison also works collaboratively with his wife, Shanna Park Harrison. So we're going to take a look at Holly Roberts. Uh, we're going to take a look at Park Harrison, and then we're going to get to Xiao Wen Wan, who's currently in an exhibition at the museum. 
And so again, that idea of uh, exploring mixed media, um, it, it really provides this wonderful opportunity uh, for artists to communicate something to us that's a bit more than that sort of one-to-one -one ratio that we always think about with photography, right? We always think, I'm going to take a landscape photograph to communicate that landscape, to capture that landscape. Uh, or I'm going to photograph a beautiful still life uh, uh, of an apple, right? Um, and that is an apple. However, we all know that there's a lot more nuance, right, in the things that we see and the things that we feel and think about when we see those things. Uh, and that's why I think mixed media is so um, exciting as uh, a process in photography is that it kind of pulls together all these different elements and it can help build out uh, an image that's not only closer to what maybe the artist had intended, um, but it's also something that invites, again, all of us uh, into a much more nuanced sort of uh, exploration of what we're seeing, right? We have to ask ourselves a couple more questions um, and, uh, and it's really an experience for us to be able to view them. Uh, and so the first image that I have up here uh, is an image uh, that we collected in 1983 uh, by Holly Roberts. Uh, and Holly Roberts is best known for combining painting and photography. Uh, she's, she lives and works in the Southwest. Uh, and really uh, the images that she creates, uh, the color palette explores that, right? Um, we see these this use of beautiful earth tones um, and 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 uh, uh, the of course the painterly quality that comes about uh, when using paint over top of a photograph uh, and and that brings me to the really interesting part I think about her work is that she began uh, by printing her own black and white photographs uh, and then later she would paint over top of them um, and so this is an example of that uh, this image is titled Bucking Pony. Uh, and we can see this, again, those brush strokes giving this beautiful sense of movement uh, that may or may not have been part of the original black and white photograph that lies underneath. Um, and then we have her use of color, right? We know that this was a black and white photograph to begin with, so she actually gets to choose, right? Uh, she has agency over what kinds of colors get to appear. And again, those colors are really reflective of her location uh, in the American Southwest. Uh, she's based in New Mexico. Uh, of course, it's interesting too because every artist's work evolves over time. Uh, and so we have another image by Holly Roberts, uh, which this image um, is a bit later and it we can kind of think of her work sort of inverting, right? Doing this sort of uh, flip um, because now we have an image that starts with a painted canvas backdrop and she's using bits and pieces of different images um, to collage, right? To photo montage over top of the image. Um, and this one, we have this horse rider. I, think, I believe this title is called Snake Rider. Uh, and this was collected by the museum a lot more recently in the early 2000 teens um, and again we have this beautiful interplay between the canvas backdrop the paint that she's using again that palette that has those earth tones and those pastels uh, those beautiful hues um, but then of course on top of it we have figures that are composed of many different parts right um, we can see the horse is clearly uh, bits and pieces of, uh, of, of, of uh, tree tops for the head and then we have what almost looks like acid asphalt or pavement for the body. Uh, and then we have the snake rider, right? Uh, we have this figure that's composed of many different pieces of an image. Um, and again, it's an opportunity to really uh, invite all of us into um, this sort of uh, uh, image that conveys a bit more of an emotion, right? Uh, many of us have been in the situation where we take a photograph um, and it just doesn't quite compare to what we feel like we saw. And that's because when we're in a situation, um, when we're physically there, uh, we're not just using our eyes, right? We're using our, our sense of hearing, we're using our sense of smell, uh, our sense of touch, right? Um, the temperature outside, the quality of light. And so when we take a photograph, 
oftentimes it's just taking one small sliver of that, right? Um, and that's why mixed media is so, I think, exciting as a process is that it allows the artist to uh, incorporate other aspects um, that really invite us into a particular feeling or mood uh, or emotion about, about a particular work. And so the next artist that I wanted us to go ahead and take a look at uh, is an artist, uh, again, uh, his name is Robert Park Harrison, and he often works with his wife as a collaborative team, Shanna Park Harrison. Um, and this is one of the images that we have in the collection that uh, we added back in the late 90s, I believe. Um, and we can see it's this sort of really dark and moody scene um, that we have of this landscape. Uh, and this landscape has these gnarly trees and trunks growing up out of it. Uh, and then we have a figure there uh, in the lower right hand corner. Um, and that's actually the artist himself uh, performing in front of the camera for the image, uh, that's Robert. Um, and mixed media uh, is an opportunity for Robert uh, and for Shauna uh, to go ahead and speak to a particular aspect of what it's like for us as humans to be living on this planet and interacting with the landscape and with the world through the things that we build through the systems that we create. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and full screen this so you all can go ahead and check it out. Um, uh, and this one is mixed media because it's printed on panel, we call it. Um, uh, so it's not a paper, uh, it's not a paper process. So it's printed on panel. And then if you actually get the chance to see these images at the museum, which I hope you all do, um, you'll see that uh, it, they're on panel and they're also coded, they're waxed, if you will. So it creates this really interesting depth to the image, uh, this really interesting sort of surface quality. Um, and and again, creating this atmosphere that um, invites all of us to consider particular things that the artists are interested in. And I'm going to go ahead and read a quote, uh, two quotes actually, by the artists, um, which really get at the heart of what their process is. Uh, and the first one that explains a bit more about why they do what they do uh, is this quote. Our photographs offer visual poems of loss, human struggle, and personal exploration within landscapes that are scarred by technology and overuse. So I think that's really a beautiful, beautiful way of putting it. And I love that use of the word visual poetry uh, because at the Museum of Photographic Arts, being a center for visual learning, um, that is it really hits at the heart, uh, uh, the core idea um, is uh, of, of, of what we think about when we think about images in the photographic arts is that they are these opportunities um, to visually communicate things that uh, sometimes we may not have uh, words for, right? Um, and, uh, and I think their work really gets at that big idea. Um, and also the hope or their hope. I'm going to show one another image here uh, by the artists, um, and they uh, another quote by them too is that uh, perhaps the only true hope for our world and our human spirit rests in our ability to imagine. So. I think that's really interesting too from the aspect of the process that we're looking at today. Um, that idea of mixed media uh, is that it can inspire uh, a greater imagination in all of us as viewers to consider some of these big ideas. Um, and also, I love too how it speaks to really our current circumstances, right? Our current situation. Uh, many of us have probably been reading about, uh, since we're all sheltering in place right now, uh, and hopefully everyone out there is staying safe and healthy, um, is that uh, in lots of places, wildlife is returning. Uh, since all of us aren't doing the typical nine to five to work, uh, there's less congestion, there's less pollution, uh, there's less traffic. Um, and so we see just how quickly um, certain plants are springing up in areas that had much more traffic um, and how wildlife and birds are returning to particular parts of, of our communities. Um, and so I think it gives us all some food for thought, right? Um, to look at Robert and Shauna Park Harrison's work and to think about what their 
posing to us as our relationship to the land um, and to the landscape and our world uh, and how we have agency over it. Um, and how perhaps we can use this time to really look closely at in this time where we're all sheltering in place and uh, we're not moving about in the same way, interacting with the landscape in the same way, how, how is nature uh, reasserting itself, right? How is it coming back in um, to the communities where we all live? Again, I think it's always a great opportunity for us to be able to have these conversations that look at these big ideas like mixed media inspired by the current exhibitions at the museum. Um, and then looking back into the collection of the museum to see all the nuanced ways that artists have explored some of these wider topics. And again, if you haven't gotten a chance, make sure you head over to mocha.org uh, to check out, again, all of our resources, um, as well as information about the current exhibition uh, like the one that's inspiring the talk for today. Um, and of course, if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to our channel below because you'll get notifications about programs like today, but also you'll get a chance to check out an actual tour of the current exhibition, Out of the Shadows, Contemporary Chinese Photography. You should see it in the playlist there on YouTube, uh, and it takes you on a fly-through of our current exhibition where you see all nine artists and their work as they're installed there at the museum. So for our last artist that we're gonna take a look at, and of course really the inspiration for today's talk uh, is again a contemporary Chinese photographer named Xiao Wen Huan. Uh, and Xiao Wen Huan creates these beautiful uh, black and white, mostly black and white, uh, mixed media pieces uh, that, ha that invite all of us to contemplate the landscape a bit more, um, but also to contemplate photography itself. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and full screen this one so you can all really enjoy a nice uh, large version of it. Um, and for the artist, the artist uh, provided this wonderful quote, um, is that the creative process itself is the focus of the work. Um, today, when photography is an increasingly rapid and simplified process, he wanted to slow down and regain some, some, some of what is lost in that process. Uh, and I think, again, that's something that all of us can relate to, right? Um, is that uh, nowadays with uh, cameras built into our phones, uh, cameras seemingly everywhere, uh, and each day more and more images are out there in the environment, we can sort of see our relationship to photography as something that oftentimes whether it's on our Instagram feed or whether it's in the news that we read, uh, we pop through images constantly, right? Um, but I think the interesting thing about Xiao Wen Wan's pieces is that, again, it invites us, and like the other artists that we just saw, invites us to slow down a bit more, uh, slow down a bit and contemplate what exactly we're looking at. Um, but that's not only the important part. I think it's also important that we slow down and think about what we're looking at and also what it's making us think, right? What it's making us feel, uh, remember perhaps, uh, how it's connecting with us. Uh, and I think that really gets at the spirit of Xiao Wen Wan's work um, because, let me go ahead and pull up one other image by the artist here. This one is uh, a three panel piece that's installed at the museum right now. Uh, and we see this gorgeous rippling water. Um, and this is a mixed media piece because it's printed on these canvas panels. Uh, and then the artist uh, actually added embellishments over top. Um, we can see towards the right hand of the image, there are these squiggles that are sort of following the ripples on the water surface. Uh, and those are actually applied over top of the image. So there's this really gorgeous uh, sort of three-dimensional quality to the work when you see it in person. Um, and I think what's really interesting too is that this artist uh, speaks to this wonderfully rich tradition in uh, Chinese arts, but also just in the Eastern art tradition uh, of looking at the landscape and our relationship to the landscape um, and the beautiful sort of ephemeral qualities of the landscape, right? You know, we, we take photographs 
oftentimes to freeze time, right? This slice, this moment in time. Um, but oftentimes the things that we photograph are constantly changing, right? They're constantly in motion, like the ripples in a pond, uh, or like a landscape with mist uh, and, 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 and trees and, and wildlife. Uh, and so I think really a quote by the artist that he provided uh, it, it speaks to it so perfectly is that as I create, I explore the art of thinking. Um, and again, in a time when um, I could take thousands of photographs in a matter of an hour uh, and share them around the world in a matter of an instant, um, that's really, I think, a beautiful concept, uh, especially as a lot of us have probably quite a bit of time on our hands, um, wherever we may be. Um, so next time you take a photograph, think about slowing down a bit before you take it. Um, you know, so many aspects of our life are um, rushing, right? Uh, things get quicker and quicker and more fast paced. Uh, and photography can certainly be that, right? We love taking freeze frames and uh, stop motion photographs and uh, being able to really arrest motion in something, but I think it can also be an opportunity for us to meditate a bit, right? Um, to think about what we're seeing, uh, but not only that, to think about how we want to communicate how we feel about what we're seeing. And so uh, that's all we have for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at those three artists. Again, uh, the work of Xiao Wen Wan, who's currently on view at the Museum of Photographic Arts as part of our current exhibition, Out of the Shadows, Contemporary Chinese Photography, but also taking a look at artists that are part of our collection, our collection of over 9,000 images at the museum. And those artists, Holly Roberts and Robert and Shanna Park Harrison. Uh, for more information, check out their info below uh, and make sure to check out more of their work. Um, I wanna thank everyone again for joining us today. Uh, and again, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. Uh, and again, tune in for next week because next week we're gonna be taking a look at another exhibition at the museum, which is Illusion, the Magic of Motion. And we're gonna be looking at artists who explored how to capture motion in a world that is constantly moving. There's going to be some really exciting work. Thanks again for joining us. Uh, take care, uh, and we look forward to seeing all of you next week for another MOPA in Focus.